In this video, I'll show you the exact strategies I took to make over $400,000 publishing audiobooks on Audible ACX. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and in this channel, we do things a little differently. I openly share my actual results publishing books on Amazon KDP as well as Audible ACX and the exact strategies that I took to achieve these results. If you guys want to check out all the income reports that I've done uh, previously, I have a whole playlist called KDP Income Reports under this channel. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who is actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. So in this video, I wanna show you the exact steps that I took to make over $400,000 publishing audiobooks on Audible ACX. So this is a really, really cool way of making money. Uh, which you can publish books that you don't even write yourself to Amazon KDP as well as Audible and start generating royalties online. So personally, I've earned over $400,000 once again, just from Audible, selling over 100,000 audiobooks uh, in my lifetime. And at this point, I've sold way more than 100,000. But here are my top tips on how to sell your audiobooks that actually works. Real quick, these are my actual results. You can see that I've sold over 100,000 units as well as these are some of my monthly payments from ACX. So in this month, I've earned over $12,000. And in this month, I've also earned $11,000. So basically every single month, I earn between eleven dollars to $13,000 a month uh, consistently. And I've been doing that for years. So the first tip I have for you is before you publish an audiobook, before you even make a book to create an audiobook, uh, you want to check profitability. Okay, you want to make sure that people are actually looking for those topics rather than just writing a random book on any topic and hoping that it's gonna sell. So you wanna research the market first. This is called writing to market, okay? So research the market, make sure that people are actually buying books on that topic before you go and actually write the book or make one, okay? So when it comes to the criteria of determining if the book is profitable or not, you wanna find other books with an audible BSR of below 20,000. Anything below 20,000 BSR on Audible is a good sign that it's selling pretty well. It's making a couple hundred dollars every single month just from Audible. So this is a good criteria to follow. Make sure the topic makes sense as well to be an audiobook because some books just does not do well as an audiobook. Uh, these are something that is very specific, that is design heavy or illustration heavy, uh, such as, you know, recipe books, right? Nobody really wants to listen to a recipe audiobook. Another example would be, say, a coloring book. You can't really translate a coloring book into an audiobook. So make sure that the topic makes sense to be an audiobook, okay? And the ideal search results uh, for Audible will be 100 or less. This is to ensure that you don't have a ton of competition. So there's essentially two ways to check this. First, you can type the keyword on audible.com. So in my case, if I'm searching for the topic of decluttering to make sure that it's profitable, I can type that into Audible and I will see the search results. And typically you want this to be below 100 because if it's over 100, it's a little more competitive. Now, in terms of finding other books with a BSR below 20,000, if you have the Chrome plugin uh, called BookBeam right here, it'll show you this section, but you do have to pay for BookBeam. So if you guys wanna check it out, the link is below this video. It's a really good tool. It's not just for this plugin. There's a bunch of other things you can do. And it's very, very helpful, but it is optional for sure. So if you have BookBeam, it'll show you right here, the BSR in the Audible store. So this one is 2000. It's doing really, really, really well. You can see that it's making $214 a day. So which is insane. Okay. And then you can see this one is 182. So it's not doing that good. Uh, so basically you want to find other books below 20,000 uh, to ensure that people are actually buying books on decluttering. So that's how you know that it's profitable. Now, the other way of checking the Audible BSR uh, manually is simply find a book on amazon.com, open the books product page, and then switch over to the audiobooks section right here. Then you scroll down and take a look at the product details and it'll tell you right here the BSR. So it's a little more of a manual step. Uh, the BookBeam plugin is easier, but if you don't wanna invest in that, then you can do it for free here. All right, tip number two is to focus on longer audiobooks. So longer books just sells better, it's just how it is. Plus you make more money in royalties. And there's essentially two ways to create longer books on Audible, okay? You can increase the word count of your book, okay? So typically 10,000 words is one hour long. So if you make a 30,000 word book, then it's three hours long. If you make a 50,000 word book, then it's five hours long when you make an audiobook version of that. So you can simply make a longer word count book 
or you can create books that include slower narration or a lot of pauses. So ACX prices is determined based on the book length or audio length, okay? You don't pick the price, it's based on how long the audio book is once it's narrated. So the longer the book, it's priced higher and higher the price means you get higher royalties and more expensive books sells better on Audible just because Audible members get one free credit to redeem for any book of their choice and typically they use a one free credit uh, to get a more expensive book for free but you still get paid as if you've made a normal sale even if people used the free credit to redeem your book and that is why a longer book sells better so if you look at this here you can see the price uh, the book will be listed at and the royalties you make based on how long the audiobook is so if it's below one hours uh, then you will make 90 cents in royalties and if it's between one to three hours long then you're making about 1.8 dollars in royalties and this is just my experience and my estimate because audible doesn't tell you exactly how much but uh this is fairly accurate so if your book is between three to five hours long then you will be making 3.6 dollars in royalties if it's between 5 to 10 hours long, it's 4.6. And if it's between 10 to 20 hours long, then you'll be making $5.6 uh, per sale. Okay, so as you can see, the longer it is, the more royalties you'll be making. Now, another option is to create a book that includes lots of pauses or slower narration. Okay, so in this case, a guided meditation book would be a perfect example because you don't need to create a book with a ton of word count. You can simply have a little bit of word count, but the narrator will read it very, very slowly with tons of pauses because that is how guided meditation is narrated, right? So that is how you can increase the total audio length without spending too much uh, on getting your book written with a ton of word count. Now, when it comes to the ideal word count for Audible, you want uh, the book to be around 30,000 words because once again, 10,000 words is one hour long of audio. And the sweet spot when it comes to audiobooks is anything below three hours long. The reason why is because as you can see here, you'll be making double the royalties when you go over three hours compared to when you're below three hours, you're only making $1.8 in royalties. Now, the next tip is you don't have to create the book yourself. You can use ghostwriters on Upwork or you can use ghostwriting companies like the Urban Writers to write the book for you. And once again, I recommend you order a book that is 30,000 words long because that is three hours or more on Audible, which is the sweet spot, okay? It's gonna cost around $650 to $1,000 to create the book. And for the cover, you can use Fiverr or 99designs is what I recommend. And then you simply wanna convert your Kindle cover to ACX uh, using Fiverr for $5. All right, so when it comes to hiring writers on your own on Upwork, Upwork is a great place because you can just post a job. Uh, if you just sign up for free, post a job right here. And you know, in your job details, say you want a book on whatever topic. And a lot of people will start applying to your job. And from there, you can pick whoever you like, start working with them, have them write the book. You pay them and that book is yours. So you own the rights to it. Now you can publish it and turn it into an audiobook. And with the Urban Writers, it's cool because every single writer that's going to apply to your job is already vetted and trained. So we know that it's a good writer. So that is how you can hire ghostwriters super easily. Now, in terms of getting your covers made, you can use sites like Fiverr. Simply type in book cover design. And you can see there's a bunch of options here. And it doesn't even cost uh, that much. You can go as low as $5, $10. Just look at the reviews, look at their samples and pick whoever you like. I will also link to a Fiverr designer that I think is really good. It's only $5, so that'll be below uh, this video, as well as all the other websites and services that I recommend. The link is also below uh, this video. So the other option is using 99designs. This is going to cost a little more, but you can post a contest. It's about $200, and a lot of people will start submitting their designs, and then you can pick which one you like. So I have a tutorial on this on my channel, so you guys can go take a look. Now, once your book is written and you get your book covers back, then the next step is to get your book narrated on ACX. So you wanna sign up to ACX, upload your book, and you wanna hire narrators directly on ACX. Now, the tip here is you don't have to spend a ton of money to get your book narrated. You really only have to spend between $50 to $70 per finished hour, uh, which is enough to get high quality narration. So people will tell you different things. A lot of people will tell you that you have to spend hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to get really good audiobook narration, but that's not the case. I've been publishing books for years now and created a ton of audiobooks and I've never had issues hiring high quality writers between $50 to $70 per finished hour. 
So let's say you're paying $50 per finished hour. If your book is three hours long, then that means you're only paying $150 to narrate the entire book. All right, so I'm on my ACX dashboard right now, and let me show you how you can find narrators. Obviously, when you post a job, you can open it up for auditions so people can start auditioning for your book. But on top of that, you can go and manually find narrators uh, that you might like. So all you have to do is go to search here, click on producers for hire, and you will get to this page. And then from there, you can filter by genre, gender, language, accent, uh, how much they'll cost, etc. Start listening to their samples. And if you like a narrator, all you have to do is click on their name, get to this page. And if you have a book that is ready to be narrated, then you will have an option to make an offer here and then send them the offer. All right, tip number five is to bundle your book. So this is a huge tip. You're gonna make a ton of money doing this. And that is by combining existing books that you've already written and narrated and turned it into an audiobook, you're gonna combine it and sell it as a bundle or also known as a box set. So this is a great way to use the existing book content and create an even longer audiobooks and bundles sells amazing on Audible. So you do not wanna miss out on this. In terms of creating the bundle, it's as simple as putting all your content into one book uploading that bundle on KDP, Amazon first, so that you can claim that on ACX Audible. And all you have to do is download the MP3 files that you already have for your single books, and then upload those files into one bundle on ACX. Now, the next tip is to get reviews for your book. So you do not want to just publish and forget about it, okay? You wanna make sure that you're marketing and getting reviews just like your paperbacks and eBooks on Amazon. So. When you publish your audiobooks on ACX, they will give you 50 promotional codes for US and UK that you can give out to friends, family, anybody else, where they can redeem the book for free. And if they like it, they can leave a review. So this is a strategy that is allowed by ACX. ACX actually recommends you to do so. So once your book is published, once again, get that promo code and give it out to people and collect as many reviews as you can. You can go into different Facebook groups, you can use Booksprout, you can even use your email list if you have that. Uh, but the point is you wanna give out those promo codes as fast as possible. So let's just say that I have a book on decluttering that just became an audiobook and I got the promo codes that I wanna give out. Well, one great way of doing this is going into Facebook groups. So you can type in your keyword, okay? And then go into groups here and you, there's a bunch of groups that you can go and make a post saying, hey guys, I just published a book uh, on decluttering. It covers this, this, and that. And it became an audiobook. And I am able to give out 50 promotional codes where you can redeem the book for free in exchange for an honest review on Audible. If you guys are interested, comment below and I'll send you the promo codes right away. So you make a post like that and a lot of people will start commenting that they're interested. So once that happens, you can just message them and give them the promotional codes. They can redeem it. Then you follow up with them two weeks later and have them leave a review. So that is the entire process in a nutshell. The other option is to use Booksprout if you have an audience or an email list already. All you have to do is upload your book on Booksprout, create a review campaign. You can see here they have an audiobook review campaign, so you can upload your promotional codes on Booksprout and send people here. So every time people go to Booksprout, and they can go to your review campaign directly and Booksprout will automate the giving out the promotional codes, the follow-ups and everything. So basically all you have to do is upload your book on Booksprout, create a review campaign and send people here. Everything else is automated. So right now I do more Booksprout, but if you're just getting started, you don't have an audience, then you can do the manual way with Facebook groups. All right, guys, that is all the tips that I recommend you guys start implementing to make more money publishing audiobooks on Audible ACX. And the final note is, you know, the key to being successful with this is you do have to publish great high quality books as well as you have to publish a volume of books. So don't just rely on you know publishing a couple books and hoping you're gonna make 10K a month, but instead take this seriously, publish multiple books and keep publishing and the income will slowly stack up. So before you go, I wanna invite you guys to join the 100% free Facebook mastermind where you can network with other publishers, ask any questions, as well as just by joining, you're gonna get a free bonus, which is how to generate lasting income on Amazon KDP through what I coin as book stacking. This is a case study on how I make between 30 to $40,000 every single month uh, on my first KDP business. So if you wanna join the Facebook group, the link is below this video. As well as if you wanna learn more about my complete publishing program, then the link is also below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.